Hello, my name is Doug Darfus. Today, we're going to be talking about finding the area and volume of various shapes and some irregular figures. Finding the area under a curve or the volume of an irregular shape is something that you do in calculus very frequently. It is this concept that is used then in science and mathematics and a lot in engineering. By the end of this tutorial, you should have a basic idea of how area and volume are calculated and be able to use that information in a variety of different situations. Area is measured in square units. We want to find how many square units fit inside a figure. To find the area of a rectangle is fairly easy because a whole number of square units fit inside a rectangle. Some triangles are fairly easy because they either use whole squares or half squares. Other figures like the circle can be difficult, but we have formulas to help us with the areas of circles and other shapes. If we have an irregular shape, however, it becomes much more difficult because not whole or half shapes squares fit inside the shapes, nor do we have a formula. Let me demonstrate. Let's look at finding the area of an irregular figure. Area is base times height, or length times width. So if I take this irregular figure, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 as its base, and 2 as its height. And so we could say it is 4 times 2, or 8 square units. However, we see that there are many units many squares that are not completely filled. For example, if I take this, that's not inside the figure. I could put it together possibly with this one and put them together to make one whole unit and take away one. As I go through, I may find there's a little one with a big one and maybe there's two. As I look at this, there's about three squares that are not used in this irregular shape. And so I take away three, and I'd say that this is five units squared. Looking at it, if I make the square smaller, I can get a better estimate of the area of the figure. Again, area is base times height. The base here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times 1, 2, 3, 4 gives me 32 square units. But now I have whole squares that weren't used. Here's a whole square that wasn't used. Here's another whole square not used. Here's one that's pretty close to a whole square not used. Maybe if I put it together with this little one, it would be one. As I go through, I try to make up whole squares that were not used inside. I find that there's about 10 not used. So I subtract 10, and I get that this figure is 22 square units. Now, this unit is smaller than the other one. You can see that there's about four. There's four squares here that were as in one of the previous one. So I could take 22 divided by 4, and I get that it's about 5 and a half. Well, this is a little better estimate than we did when we had bigger squares. So I could make the squares even smaller. If I make them smaller, I could get even a better estimate for area. Again, I count across. Here's 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's 20 across. The height is 10. So this is 200 squares inside this irregular figure. But there are a lot of squares not used. Look at all these squares not used. And again, some partial squares not used. Again, we put the partial squares together to make one whole square. I find there's about 45 squares not used here. That means that this irregular figure uses 155 square units. Again, to compare it to our original, there are 25 of these small squares inside of one of the original squares we started with. So if I take the 155 and divide by 25, I get that this figure is about 6.2 units squared. Even better estimate. 
Calculus is exactly this, finding the squares smaller and smaller, infinitesimally small, until we get the best estimate for the area. This then takes us to volume. The volume of an object is how many cubes fit inside the object. Volume adds a height dimension and makes it three-dimensional. A prism is one type of object that we can find the volume of. A prism is where the top and the bottom bases are polygons that have the exact same size and shape, and they're parallel to one another. The basic formula for a prism is volume equals the area of the base times the height. Here we have one cubic centimeter and we have a cube of larger and we can see that 16 of the smaller cubes fit inside the base of the larger cube. And so we would say the area of the base is 16 squared centimeters. We then add the cubes and stack them up and see that about four of them fit inside the large cube and so it would have a height of four. So if the volume is area of the base times the height, we would take 16 times four and we would get 64 cubic centimeters. Now for an irregular shape, this is a bit harder. If we want to find the volume of an irregular shape, we still find the area of its base. Here's the irregular shape that we used before. We found that it was 154 square units by taking away the squares that, we, that were not inside the irregular shape. We need to multiply it by its height. It has been made into a prism-like shape, and so it has a height of 7. If we take the area of its base, 154, times its height of 7, we get that the volume of this irregular shape is 1,078 cubic units. Another type of shape that we find the volumes of are pyramids. Pyramids are where we take all the vertices of the shape and they all come up into one point. The volume for pyramids is one-third the area of the base times the height. A cone is also considered a special case of a pyramid. The reason why the volume is one-third the base times the height is because um, three pyramids will fit into one prism when the bases have the exact same size and shape and their heights are equal. To illustrate, I'll use a cylinder, which is prism-like, and a cone, which is pyramid-like. If I draw three pyramids, which in this case are going to be cones, If they have the same area of the base as the cylinder, and the height of each cone is the same as the cylinder, then exactly three of these will fit inside of that cylinder. And again, that's something that someone else has figured out for us to make our job easier. Finding the area and volumes for any shape uses the principles area equals base times height, and volume equals area of the base times height, or one-third area of the base times height. Finding areas and volumes of irregular figures is exactly the same. All you need to do is find out how many squares fit inside the base, and then either multiply by height or one-third the height, determining whether it's a prism-like or pyramid-like, and you can find the volume of an irregular shape. If it's not prism or pyramid-like, then you can do what we did with area. Instead of finding out how many squares fit inside, you find out how many cubes fit inside, and you can subtract the partial cubes that didn't fit inside nicely.